All right, I just wanna take a few moments to talk about some set notation that you'll see in an introduction to probability theory type course. Um, so first I have some definitions and then I have some things that I'm trying to find. Um, starting with S, S is our sample space, okay? And it's made up of eight elements. In this case, those elements are the numbers one through eight, okay? So sample space, uh, sometimes you'll see this referred to as omega, all right? Um, as you begin to study probability, you will uh, discover that us statisticians, we love our Greek letters. So we'll throw a Greek letter out there that omega usually stands for the sample space. Other times you'll see it just written as a capital S, all right? Um, events are subsets of the sample space. All right, um, so event A is made up of the elements one through seven, all right, so everything except for eight. Uh, B, event B is made up of the elements one, two, four, and six, okay, et cetera. All right, and so uh, what we wanna find first is a complement, all right? Um, sometimes you'll see that written as A prime, all right? A complement, right? And what does that stand for? If I were to draw this out, if this box here is my sample sp space S, and suppose A is this circle here, A complement is everything that is in the sample space, but it's not in A, okay? So when you hear complement, you think the word not, not in A. All right. So what is in the sample space but not in A? Well, since A contains the numbers one through seven and the sample space contains the numbers one through eight, the one number that's missing is eight, all right? So our complement is eight. Um, this is what event D is. So you could have just written A complement equals event D, all right? Next, moving on to B, intersection C. Now I know I'm, I didn't write that intersection sign, okay? So B intersection C, that upside down U means intersection. And a lot of times, a lot of statisticians will just omit it, right? Um, what does intersection mean? It means and. All right, let me write that down. This is intersection and it means and, all right? Um, Okay, uh, so a lot of times we just won't write it, but so, what, so let, me, let me draw it out here. What does and mean? So if this is my sample space, S, and this is event B, and this is event C, right? And would mean this, this space here, right? Events, that are, or elements that are in both event B and C, okay? So what is in both B and C? Looks like four and six, right? One, four, or sorry, one, two, five, and eight are not in both, right? So the only elements that are in both are four and six, four and six. What about B and D, right? This can be written as B intersection D. Are any elements both in B and D? No, because B has numbers one, four, one, two, four, and six, and D just has eight. So they share no elements, right? If you were to draw this, here's our sample space, here is B, here is D. They share nothing in common. So what's our answer? It's the empty set. A few ways you can write the empty set. You could write just curly brackets with nothing in between them, or you could write like a circle with a slash through it. That means empty set. All right, now this is a new symbol. It means union. This, this U means union. 
okay? Union, and union means or, okay? So it's in A or C. Whenever you have union, you always write the union sign. You cannot omit it like you can with intersection. Okay, so you have union A or C. The way you would draw this, okay, this is my sample space, and I have A and I have C, A or C. A or C would be anything in either or, okay? If it's an A or C, then it's part of the union. All right, if I look here, in A I have one through seven, all right, so I have everything except eight in A. Well, C contains eight, so basically all of my entire sample space is in A or C. So my entire sample space is in A or C, so my answer is S or omega. All right, what about B or C complement? I know it's looking a little harder because now I have more than one step. But let's first, let's solve for B or C, and then I'll deal with the complement. So B or C, what's in B or C? Let's start there. So I'm gonna deal with the complement later. First thing I wanna know, what's in B or C? So I have one, two, notice that three is not in B or C, okay? Next I have four, I have five, I have six, there is no seven or B or C, okay? But then lastly, I have eight. All right, so basically now the complement is everything that's not in the, there, all right? And I kind of said it as I was looking for the union. All right, what's not in here? I'm missing three and I'm missing seven. So the complement would be three and seven, right? and that's my answer. All right, now what about A, intersection? B, union, C, okay? It's looking a little more complicated, a little more difficult, but if we just take it slow, we can get there. Start with what's inside the parentheses, all right? So I have B, intersection, C. So it's a, B or C. Let's start with that, all right? So I'm gonna leave A out here, okay? And I'm gonna figure out what B, intersection, C is. So I have one, actually I already did it right here, right? So I had one, two, four, five, six, and eight. Right, I did it right here. Okay, so now A, union that. So union is and. So what's in A and this guy? Everything except eight, right? So, because A has, one, it has two, it has four, it has five, it has six, but it doesn't have eight, so it would just be these numbers here. One, two, four, five, and six. Would be both in A and in B union C. All right, all right, thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful.